Welcome to Njenje Media Channel. This is a channel where we explore the truth behind the headlines. There are speculations that the president, Muhammad Buhari, is getting married tomorrow, being the 11th of October 2019, to a second wife, and the wedding is set to hold tomorrow. According to our sources in Asorog, President Muhammad Buhari is getting married in a very quiet ceremony to Sadiq Omar Farouk. Who is Omar Farouk? The current Minister for Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management. Do you guys remember when the news filled the air that Aisha Buhari is missing in Asorok? That Aisha has run away and is no longer performing the duties in the Azar room. People were wondering, what could make a woman that have just finished campaigning for her husband to win re-election, rather than sit back and enjoy, she ran away to London. And people were wondering what could be behind that. Now it appears the reason behind why Aisha ran away and ran to London is being unraveled. Question is, is Buhari, is President Mohammed Buhari getting married? Speculation is everywhere and ripe in the air. Is the wedding going to be tomorrow? Is the wedding going to be another day that Buhari is getting married to a second wife? Why could the president be getting married to a second wife? See, all his life, he has, only, he has only been married to one wife. But suddenly, speculations are everywhere that he's getting married to another woman. This might just have been a confirmation that the speculations are spot on. Especially after concerns were raised by Nigerians over the continued absence of the current first lady, who has gone totally incommunicado since after the election. If you remember, she's been incommunicado since her last trip to the United Kingdom. No one has ever seen her beside the president when the president went to South Africa, when the president went to Japan, even when the president went to the United Nations. No one saw Aisha anywhere near Buhari. The IPOPs have gone online and are actually making something that appears to be true and many people are believing it that Buhari is Jubilee that the reason why Aisha has run away according to Nandi Kano is that the wife of the president have suddenly discovered that the husband is Jubilee that could be another thesis according to a source who spoke to point blank news on the condition of anonymity Mrs. Farouk is a very close friend of Buhari and the, the Kabals in Asorok. And the news has it that the Kabals love her so much that she sometimes cooks for the Kabal. She has been the mastermind behind all the delicious meal Buhari and the Kabal members have been eating, especially during political gatherings such as larries and campaigns. Could it be that she was the one that actually cooked for Buhari when Buhari was in London? That got her, that got Buhari the healing, or rather the miraculous healing that he received. The source also revealed how Buhari enjoyed getting massaged by Sadiq, who is known to be skilled in that act of massage. <laughs> who will not like to be massaged? Being massaged, but such a beautiful dancer who has not married before. A woman, she is 44 years old. She is very skilled in the act of massage, we learned. Stating this as the reason Aisha Buhari, who runs a cosmetic business, was forced to include massage services recently to regain the heart of her husband. However, it appears someone who can massage and do other things in the other room has already taken over. Aisha Buhari was said to have discovered President Buhari's relationship with Sadiq Farouk. She kicked heavily against it. She kicked like every other woman not to have a rival in the home. 
She allegedly made confrontations with her husband and pleaded with him to stop. But it has fallen on deaf ears. People, you know what? When a man's heart is grabbed by a woman, mm, it is almost an impossibility to um, unbundle that heart from the shackles and chains of a woman. Even his uncle, Maman Daura, has allegedly told her to accept her fate. After all, in Islam, it is allowed to marry four wives. If you guys remember recently, in one of the northern states, they even have four, the, the northern state governor has three wives, and the three wives has three personal assistants with all the accolades. According to the injunction of the Quran, you are allowed to have four wives as long as you love them equally. But in the case of the speculations about Buhari's marriage tomorrow, we do not know if Buhari loved them equally. It remains all speculations. As it is said, Maman Daura has told Aisha Buhari to accept her fate. But Aisha Buhari, as stubborn as she can be, says no. Remember before the election, Aisha Buhari granted an interview to the BBC and said that the cabals has taken over her husband's government. Suddenly, people began to wonder, how come this woman in question got all and some of the powers that were or ministries under the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo is being given to her? This actually led to the speculation that Osibanjo is on his way out. Again, this led to another confrontation with President Buhari during the Hajj in Mecca. But her confrontations was in vain as President Buhari's mind already made up to marry a second wife. When a man is in love, whatever you say is bow the dash. When a man's heart is made up, there is nothing that can change it. According to Point, Point Blank News, source, the cabals felt that Aisha could not be trusted anymore. Being a native of Adamawa, which is not a core Muslim state. Sadia, on the other hand, is from Zamfara state. You know that state? That state that has a lot of gold. The state where Abu Salami and other northern leaders have gold mines. They mine their golds and they pay no taxes. Yet, your oil in the south will be used to develop the whole Nigeria. As we continue, do you know who that woman is? Sadia. Her full name is Sadia Umar Farouk. She is 44 years old. She was born on the 5th of November, 1974. She is her first marriage. She is in her first marriage, meaning this is the first time she ever getting officially married. Married. No one knows who has been servicing her before now. She was the National Treasurer of the Congress for Progressive Change, the CPC. She held from Zumi, local government area of Zamfara State. Zamfara State is in the northwest Nigeria. And she is Fulani. She is a graduate of Hamadou Bello University, Zaria. She has her BSc in Business Administration, Actual Sciences, in 1998. The best part of it is, she is Buhari's babe. She is the current Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management and Social Development. Remember, part of the reasons and part of the claims Timmy Frank made against Professor Yemi Osibanjo is as a result of the probe by the National Assembly regarding the activities of NEMA in their humanitarian activities within the IDP camps. Now that has been taken away and it is now under Buhari's babe. The same woman we are talking about 
will be formally married to Buhari tomorrow if all things being equal. If all the speculations from all angles are anything to go by, she will be Buhari's bride tomorrow at the Central Mosque in Abuja. All we ask all of you to do is to stay tuned that in Genji Media Channel, our reporter is heading to Abuja as we speak. We will be bringing you live feed from Abuja tomorrow if that marriage is going to hold. Our reporter also in London will have to track Aisha down to find out and to know what Aisha thinks. This is getting interesting. The interesting part that people have been asking online is, what is the legality of a president getting married to his girlfriend, who is incidentally a minister? That will be the first time, if that marriage goes on tomorrow at speculated, that you will have a first lady at the same time doubling as the first lady the second, Dublin as the main first lady in the other room, at the same time, Dublin as the minister that she's been appointed to be. Stay tuned as the story develops and the story is very, very interesting. This is once more Ginger Media Channel. Subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon for subscription and notification.